What's up guys, Cash back again with my predictions for announcements. We can see this week in Avengers. And if you caught my video about news for Jane Foster coming this week via one of the devs post on Reddit, which said that the team is hoping to have a news drop this week about Jane and what's coming out the 2.5. And I wanna talk about what I predict we'll hear in regards to Jane this week and what I believe we could see in the patch out the 2.5. So let's jump into it. So back in April, it was officially announced that Jane Foster was officially coming to the game in patch 2.5 that would come following the release of patch 2.4 which just dropped at the end of May and that the time gap between patch 2.4 and 2.5 would be a lot shorter than what we would expect which set the expectations for Jane Foster to come in June just ahead of Thor Love and Thunder and Nick doubled down on that statement by saying that all signs currently point to that prediction still holding true. So I think the news we'll get this week for Jane will be an official release date for her sometime this month between the 16th and the 30th with my money being on the 23rd and part of the reason I believe this will be the case is because of how the release for Spider-Man was handled. He dropped on November 30th which was two weeks ahead of the release of No Way Home and it was rumored that his release was intentionally delayed to be closer to the movie's release so the 23rd of June would put Jane's release two weeks ahead of the release of Love and Thunder so I can definitely see them following in the same pattern. Hopefully we can get a dev stream this week to get a closer look at her in-game models similar to what we got with Spider-Man and I'm also hoping when they do release a promotional gameplay trailer for her it's better received than the IGN gameplay of Spider-Man. Now as far as what they could announce for the patch after Jane I have two things in mind. Either they announce a new event that will fall between Jane's release and She-Hulk who's going to be the next hero after Jane with their revised version of cloning labs expected to be the next Omega level threat style content that's expected to feature MODOK. Or they could go big and announce that She-Hulk is officially coming to the game because we know her Disney Plus show is coming this August so announcing that she'll arrive in an upcoming patch would generate a lot of hype for the character and the game ahead of her new show which seems to be what Marvel Games is looking to do more in the future. So if they ultimately choose to announce She-Hulk this week, I don't expect to hear or see much for her until they're ready to announce a release date for her, similar to what we've seen for other heroes because since Jane was announced in mid-April, we haven't seen or heard anything about her in an official capacity so while I can see them ultimately choosing to go that route, I think it's more likely to see a new event or OLT announced to come after 2.5. I also think we can see an announcement for something else coming in 2.5 because I don't believe we'll see a whole patch dedicated to just the release of an Echo Hero who's not coming with new content or missions so I am curious to see what else they squeeze in the patch 2.5 with Jane Foster. But those are my predictions for the week guys. As always I love to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think we'll get a release date for Jane this week and what do you think will be announced in patch 2.6? Let me know down below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week. And if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shop with Fandomian and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.